here's a talk about the idea of intention and attention. So when we pay attention to something, depending on what we want to do with it, we have a certain level of intention. If I see something and I don't do anything with it, there is no intention. If I do something with it, there is a certain intention. Now, to have your attention on something means there was an intention even to see. So you intended on living the way you are living now. That is why you have attention on the things you have attention on. However, we want to use intention in a more tangible way. That's what people mean when they say, be confident. Know what you want. Know that intention, that specific requirement. And to know a specific requirement and how to behave towards a certain goal requires for you to expand your vision, to see where the goal is and where you are, and for that to become real. If you want a job and it's not real for you to have a job, then your intention is not on getting a job, for example. Not that getting the job is the best thing, but, you know, whatever outcome you want, if your intention is not there, then you're not getting it. So how do you get your intention there? How do you really move towards where you want to move to? Well, you, you understand that what you have your attention on, you see more, therefore you invest more. So if you want to create a certain outcome, a certain result, a certain experience for yourself, Bring it into your attention. Work with the ideas around it. If you want to change the world, work with ideas that are changing the world. If you want to change your lifestyle, work with ideas that change your lifestyle. Put your attention on them. And when a lot of people have talked about discipline, discipline is simply putting your attention on amplifying how much you're getting from an experience which, you, which may feel repetitive to you, but not when you're experiencing it much more differently, more profoundly in your own aura. And so, use your intention. Visionaries understand that sometimes, in my view, of course, I don't know others, but in my view, that your intention should be natural freedom for yourself and all that are like you. Because on some stage, there's a very common similarity for mankind. Your intention is where you're going. What you intend to do with your life comes down from a looking at the past perspective, your purpose. That is your purpose. So, To live a purposeful life, really look around you and see what are these intentive steps that you're taking and what it is making you attentive of. These are all pillars of your existence. And make sure you know where you're going.